Hello, everyone, and welcome back to some more esports talk. My name is Hunter, and thank you so much for tuning in. My oh my, it has been a long time since we've been able to talk about this esport, and that is Overwatch. In case you missed it yesterday, Overwatch did, in fact, have a stream on YouTube talking about their future plans for Overwatch 2, and there was quite the outrage, let me tell you, social media has been going crazy because people are just pissed off because Overwatch 2 is going to be 5v5. Overwatch has always been played with two teams of six players. Overwatch 2 will be played with two teams of five players, consisting of two support, two DPS, and one tank. There are a lot of reasons for why we wanted to make this change. As I said earlier, Overwatch has, has changed over time. Um, we've, we've gone from having no hero limits at all in the game before launch. You could pick six Winstons if you wanted to for, for your team composition, to having a hero limit. We ended up introducing a roll lock um, over the course of the game. And we feel like this is the next step in the way that Overwatch ought to be played. And maybe you're not part of the Overwatch scene. Maybe you've never been a fan of it, never really watched it, anything like that. And so you're a little bit confused. If you're coming from the Call of Duty scene, you're like, what's wrong with them changing up the format of that? Like, that's normal. We do that all the time. Like 4v4, 5v5, that's completely normal. Well, not so much for Overwatch. It has always been 6v6. And so this is quite the huge change, especially because many pros may be out of a job. Looking into just a few responses we saw on Twitter, we see Gator saying, imagine spending five years to perfect your role, just for it to be deleted while knowing your role does not translate to another, you expected to give all you got till the end of the season. Overall, I think that the main takeaway here is that main tank and off tank no longer exist. Overwatch will move towards a unified tank role discover how that fits into the game. Big priority right now should be getting an alpha out to our tanks to give input on the new design and role. Now that the day is done, I'm excited for the changes in Overwatch 2, if skeptical. We're still far away from the release and Blizz polish is great. It's easy to talk about future greatness when you're not the one potentially losing not only your job, but your entire life's work for some. Blizzard just cut more players mid-season than LA Valiant. You are invalidating years of effort for um for some people like i'm i'm particularly worried more so about main tanks because main tanks if you're a main tank one trick right and let's say on certain points of maps you're going to need something else main tanks i don't think are necessarily like as mechanically um like especially if you've played main tank always through and through like you're not you're, yeah, not you're not as mechanically be, skilled. You're not going to have the same aim as an off tank player or yeah, whatever yeah. it is. You know, so I just think it's it's incredibly disrespectful to every pro player what what they did, in, in my opinion. Incredibly disrespectful. And this is no small deal. Of course, people are upset about it because of this likelihood that a lot of pros are going to lose their jobs. And this is that's a difficult pill to swallow no matter who you are. I mean, if you're losing your job because they decided to change the format of the game, and you're getting cut like that, that's tough for anyone right but a lot of folks are also weighing in some real opinions on how this affects the game overall and the gameplay and whether or not this is a good design choice or not slasher says that he digs the idea but he feels like it might be in the minutes of failure from blizzard that they've been unable to balance the game as envisioned or that player numbers have dropped so much that they feel faster queue times or a priority expanding the in-game role of what it is to be a tank may offset the loss of the tank and off tank dynamic roll lock can be modified so that there are flex rolls and positions even while still adhering to 221 i'm not sure if 5v5 will make overwatch a better game but it's worth a shot jake thinks that the esport will be visually much simpler for fans most esports are 5v5 so live events will be easier it's brutal for pro and aspiring tanks the reality is half of them will get cut Tank is the least popular role on the ladder, so my guess is that this change is at least in part a radical step to solve that issue long term. I would be willing to bet that the ratio of players maining each role is closer to 2-2-1 DPS support tank than it is to 2-2-2. Blizzard are the ones with all the internal data. My guess is that this change ultimately comes from the express preferences of the player base. You've spoken about my concerns, but I'm hopeful because I know the game needs some shakeup. I know the game as it is 
is not good guess what you have survivorship bias if you think the game you may think the game is good right now mikey you may think the game as a 66 is really good right now but let me tell you something this game has bled a lot of players a lot of people are gone compared to where we are you're here because you still enjoy the game but a lot of people don't fucking enjoy the game and they're not currently playing and those people are not in my chat right now those people have not watched this video those people are not engaging with overwatch you don't get those people back by playing the same fucking game again that they don't want to play do you you get those people back by delivering a better game and the only way to deliver a better game is to make some fundamental changes so initial outrage makes a lot of sense but these people i think also make a lot of sense and taking a step back and saying like hey like i we get it this is a tough decision but we have to trust that blizzard has this internal data right like they know the details they know the data and they know the reasons that they are changing this they can look at you know how overwatch performed and how it is currently performing and what issues they feel like they need to fix i think no one would disagree with the fact that Overwatch could have been handled a little bit better. There was a lot of changes that people wanted for a long time. It never really happened. They lost a ton of their player base, and it's not exactly, uh, you know, relevant esport right now, I would say. I know some people are going to come after me for that statement, but at the current moment, Overwatch is not top of mind for esports. There are a lot of esports before it. So I think you have to trust Blizzard to a degree that, hey, what's happening right now is not necessarily working right and if it's not working then why would they make the same exact game over again like that just do that does not make sense and so they took a, a step and said hey we're gonna try out 5v5 maybe this will help some of the issues that we have seen in the past or not been able to balance in the past and we're gonna see what happens of course so many people were pissed off i mean like there were so many tweets everyone was angry about this for the most part, especially at first. Some folks are taking the aggressive route and saying that the change just has to do with saving the Overwatch League some money, while others are just kind of sad that they're losing a tank because they feel like synergizing with tanks is the most fun part of the game. And I'll be honest with you, I, I don't think anyone can really say how this is going to go. People can weigh in their opinions. Obviously, they are going to be very polarized. People are going to be very upset or be like, hey, it's fine. Like, let's just see what happens. And uh, I think I have to agree with him. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. And so we just have to feel it out. Like, wait for Overwatch 2. Hopefully, there'll be good play tests and people can test it well and they can balance things correctly. And uh, 5v5 ends up working out with only one tank. So let me know what you think about this change in the comments below. Are you excited for this? Did you hate having two tanks to begin with? Or... Was it something you really enjoyed? And are you going to miss that split role? Until next time, guys, be safe, be smart, behave. Now I'll catch you later.